Well, it's uh, time to go to work, and man, that, uh, that commute is a bear right there. Uh. <laughs> Pretty much over the last 20 years or so, I've been uh, I've been fortunate enough to, to work from home. Uh, kind of the, the two fields that I've been in is um, acting and um, sales, mostly for ski resorts. So kind of either being a sales manager or director of sales for uh, a few New England uh, ski resorts. So most everything is just cell phone and laptops, you know, whether you're in the office or out of the office. But I definitely prefer working from home. In a uh, previous life, when I was living in Georgia and I was working in a, in a factory as a production scheduler there, uh, was when I was probably early 20s, um, it was the first time that I realized that uh, pretty much I would work about 50 or 60 hours a week. Good, and good. when I gave my notice, and it was the last week of work, uh, and I stopped kind of going to all the meetings that, that was uh, going on there, um, I was done with all of my work by 10 in the morning and it used to take me until six o'clock every night to get it done. So that was kind of the first time I had this aha moment of like, oh, if, if I actually just did only the stuff that I was uh, being paid to do, um, uh, without all the extra meetings or without everyone, you know, office mates popping in and, uh, telling, telling me what they did for the weekend and then trying to get kind of focused again. Um, I could pretty much do everything in, in two or three hours. So, um, so really, you know, when you work a full day from home, you're really kind of getting twice as much done that at least twice as much, maybe, you know, four times as much done as you would from the office. And of course it depends on your field. Um, you know, being in marketing and sales, uh, that definitely seems to be the case. And now that COVID has happened, uh, and everyone is kind of being forced or a lot of people are being forced to, uh, to, to work from home um it'll be interesting to see it'd be interesting to see if other people find the, the same thing or other people you know other i know other folks definitely love going in the office um and 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 for them that that works out better for them and i think that's wonderful too but um uh, but for me personally i definitely prefer being in being in this space being in the woods being in the quiet and uh and having really no uh, no distractions Don't get me wrong, you know, I, I, I liked my office mates the, the couple times that I had uh, ha had an office, but uh, but I kind of prefer Bo and Amy to, uh, to most of them. <laughs> don't tell them, don't tell them. We're definitely very fortunate that at, at this time, you know, 2020, um, when we're living off grid, that, you know, technology has, has it just keeps getting better and better and better and uh now i mean it's crazy that we can be you know a, a half mile in the woods and uh yeah and have all your cell phones and laptops and be doing work and uh, talking to people overseas just using cell cell service it definitely would have been much more difficult to try to do this uh, 10 years ago when technology wasn't uh, where it is today uh, and the same thing that goes with shopping, you know, too, there's a lot of stuff that we can get around where we live, but then there's a few items that we, uh, you know, we can't, and it's just, you know, it's amazing that we can just be sitting out here, uh, kind of in the middle of nowhere and get on your phone, get on your laptop and order whatever you need. And it shows up in a couple of days. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, there's really, I, I don't see much of a reason for, for folks to, uh, to keep going into the office and to keep, uh, you know, needing to be by areas that, that have a lot of, uh, a lot of stores and things, because now you can kind of live wherever you want and still have all of those, those kind of luxuries. Then at the end of the work day, you can just have a little nice, nice little cocktail hour, eat some dinner, read a book and Go to bed early and get up and do it all over again. <laughs> Coming up in 2021, we're gonna prepare the yurt for the winter. Gotta clean those windows first. Okay, I got it. Run into a little issue with our wood stove. 
and enjoy some of the new snowfalls. This is what we woke up to. Winter's here, so it's time to play. We made it. We made it. Uh, <laughs>